Are you prepared for the next natural disaster, the breakdown of civil order, or even the next global pandemic? These aren't unlikely events. Since 2010, the world has seen an average of nearly 400 natural disasters per year. I'm talking earthquakes, wildfires, tornadoes, and hurricanes. Nor are these events far off. In 2017, the US suffered hurricanes Harvey and Maria, exacting $220 billion in damage combined. We've seen large-scale civil unrest erupt in Hong Kong and recently in the United States. And of course, the COVID-19 global pandemic has killed hundreds of thousands and brought the global economy to its knees. If you want to protect you and your family from the next disaster, we've put together 20 ways you can do so right now. This isn't about prepping for the zombie apocalypse, a nuclear holocaust, or the opening of the seventh seal. It's about common sense preparation for the life disrupting events that you're most likely to face, such as long term power outages and disruptions in the water supply. So let's get to the 20 ways you can prepare for the next disaster. Number one, stay informed. In any crisis, information is critical. Pay close attention to announcements from your local TV stations and local radio news stations. Buy a weather radio, which receives alerts and announcements from the National Weather Service. These come in plug-in, battery-powered, and even hand-cranked versions. That way, you can get critical information if the power grid goes down or if you run out of batteries. Number two, prepare your vehicle for emergency travel. If a disaster forces you to leave your home, you may need to travel a long distance to get to safety. The last thing you want is to run out of gas or be delayed by long lines at the pump. And if the power grid fails, gas pumps won't work. To help avoid these issues, fill your tank when it reaches the halfway mark. At minimum, a half tank will give the average vehicle about a 200 mile range. Maintain your vehicle on a regular basis to avoid breakdowns and pick up a tire repair kit in case you get a flat. If you do break down, have some flares handy to signal for help. Also, buy a physical map to save your smartphone battery and plan an escape route. Number three, protect important documents. Documents such as social security cards, birth certificates, passports, insurance policies, and property titles must be secured. Store them in a container that will protect them against fire and flooding. If you must evacuate, be sure to take those documents with you. Number four, medical care. Purchase or put together a first aid kit containing gauze rolls, surgical tape, band-aids, antibiotic ointment, hydrogen peroxide, and a pain reliever such as aspirin or ibuprofen. And if your doctor will allow it, get an extra bottle of prescription medicine so you never run out. Number five, stay hydrated. A disaster can disrupt your local water supply, so stock up on bottled water. It's cheap by the gallon and lasts a long time. FEMA recommends you store at least one gallon of drinking water per person per day to last three days. If you run out of clean drinking water, all is not lost. You can buy filters specifically made to clean out harmful contaminants. You can also boil or distill unsafe water and as a last resort, you can disinfect water by adding bleach at a ratio of 1 8 teaspoon of bleach per gallon of water. Number six, protect your home. Your home is your castle, but a disaster can turn it into rubble. You can't make your home immune from damage, but you can secure the entry points. Install hurricane shutters on your windows or stock up on plywood for boarding up your windows in the event of a hurricane or tornado. If there's a concern of looting and civil unrest, you can install entry door armor and security film on sliding glass doors to protect against break-ins. Number seven, stay clean. Normal methods of household cleaning and disinfecting may go out the window in a disaster. Be sure to have enough bleach, rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, and disinfectant wipes on hand to keep everything squeaky clean. Number eight, stock up on face masks. The COVID-19 pandemic made it clear that face masks are a must have. COVID-19 won't be the last global pandemic, so hang on to those face masks. The next disaster may bring a different kind of contaminated air, such as extreme dust and smoke that you won't want to inhale. So face masks are always a good thing to keep on hand. Number nine, don't live in the dark. Lighting is one of our most basic human comforts. Anyone who's lived for days without electricity knows how easily we take artificial lighting for granted. Now make sure you have a working flashlight for each household member. Small LED lamps give a lot of light without using a ton of battery life. 
but nothing beats emergency candles. They're cheap and won't drain any other resources. And of course, make sure you have plenty of matches to light them. Number 10, food supply. FEMA says you should store a three-day supply of non-perishable food. On the recommended list of food are ready-to-eat meats, fruits, and vegetables. Also, consider stocking up on high-calorie foods such as peanut butter, granola, dried fruit, and energy bars. You'll get bored eating like that for days, so include some comfort food items like potato chips or chocolate-covered pretzels. Number 11, cooking. Even though you have a three-day stock of ready-to-eat food, if you're waiting out the disaster at your home and you've lost electricity, you'll have a refrigerator and freezer full of rapidly perishing food. Thankfully, with a propane grill of any size, you can cook just about anything either directly on the grill grates or by heating up food with a pot or pan. Keep a filled tank in reserve so you never run out of fuel. Number 12, personal protection. A serious disaster can threaten your safety. Think about how you want to protect you and your family if you're faced with a threat to your lives. Pepper spray and tasers are a non-lethal way to neutralize a threat at a distance. Baseball bats are a good thing to keep around, and if you're willing, purchase a firearm and ammunition for protection. Number 13, temporary power. Both solar and gas powered generators are a great way to keep some appliances like your refrigerator running. A smartphone may be your primary source of information, so buy some large capacity battery packs to keep them running. Some battery packs are even powerful enough to jumpstart your car, so they can no doubt charge your electronics over multiple cycles. Finally, stock up on traditional batteries to power items like flashlights and lamps. Number 14, don't forget about your animals. The recommendations on food, water, and medications for humans apply to our pets. Make sure they have plenty to eat and drink and are up to date on their vaccinations and registrations. And please, if you must leave your home, don't abandon your furry friends. Number 15, keep cash on hand. A major disaster could mean that traditional payment processors will fail. In this scenario, cash is king. The amount you reserve is your choice, but be sure to break that cash down into smaller bills. Number 16, personal care. The human body requires a ton of maintenance, so be sure you have enough soap, razor blades, toothpaste, floss, and feminine hygiene products to last at least two weeks. Number 17, proper clothing. If you must evacuate, pack clothing to keep you cool, warm, or dry, depending on the scenario. Also, pack comfortable and durable shoes along with extra socks and underwear. Number 18, keep yourself entertained. Being cooped up in a house for days without electricity is enough to make most of us go crazy. So it's a good idea to keep a collection of books, games, puzzles, and playing cards. And don't forget about vices. If you're a smoker, store an extra carton of cigarettes, or if you're a drinker, a bottle or two of your favorite spirit. Number 19, pack some tools. You don't know what obstacle you'll run into if you must leave your home, but a few items like a multi-tool, a fixed knife blade, some rope, duct tape, and a can opener don't take up a lot of real estate and can get you out of a jam. Number 20, easy disposal. As mentioned earlier, a disaster will disrupt how you cook and clean. So make the cleaning part easier on yourself by stocking up on paper plates, cups, towels, toilet paper, baby wipes, and disposable silverware. I hope you enjoyed this video showing you 20 ways you can prepare for the next disaster. If you did, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel to get alerted to real smart news each and every day.